Hello everyone, now I will show you how to set up your TP-Link router. And before I start, I want to remind you that if my video will help you, please support my work. Half of all donations I send to animal shelters. All details are in the description down below. The first step is to turn on the router. Take the power adapter. Plug one end of the power adapter into a wall outlet. Connect the other end to the router. Turn on the power by pressing the button. When it's powered on, a light will illuminate. It might take a few minutes for the router to fully power up. Next, plug the cable from your broadband provider or modem into the internet port. This port is commonly called to as WAN and is typically a different color. Each cable should be inserted until it clicks. Now you should reset the router to its factory settings. Hold down the reset button on the router for 10 seconds. Wait for the lights on the router to begin flashing. Occasionally, this button can be found inside the router casing to avoid accidental presses. Use a slim object to press it down. The router will reboot, resetting all the settings to their original factory defaults. Connect one end of the Ethernet cable that came with the router to an Ethernet port. Connect the other end to your computer or laptop's Ethernet port. Please wait a few minutes for the connection to establish. Awesome! Your router is now connected to your computer. Now you will need to set it up. Before we get started, I'll show you another way to connect the router in case you don't have an Ethernet cable or your computer doesn't have an Ethernet port. Simply plug in the router to the power adapter and connect the cable from your internet provider. This will turn on the Wi-Fi. If the router is new and hasn't been set up yet, the Wi-Fi network will be named after the router itself. Your router has a unique Wi-Fi network name and password printed on a label. Get connected to it. Great job connecting to the router. Now let's get started with the setup. First, open your web browser and visit the URL you see on the screen. Use the URL bar instead of the search bar. If the link doesn't open, or you see a page with a password that you don't know, it means that your router has already been configured and you need to reset it to factory settings. Then you can try to enter the router settings panel again. If your router settings do not look like mine, it means that your router has a different firmware. I made a video for every firmware type. You can find all the links in the description down below. So at first you need to set a password for the personal cabinet of your router. Click on Let's Get Started button. I should also warn you that depending on the firmware version, you may not have some setup steps or they will be in the wrong order. Trust me, you got this. Just watch the video and follow instructions. On the first screen, select your time zone. If you don't remember which one you have, select any and click next. On the next page, select the type of internet connection. Usually it is specified in the contract with your broadband provider. If you don't know, you can try to click on the auto detect button. The router will try to identify what type you have. If it has failed, select Dynamic IP and click Next. Depending on what type of connection you have chosen in the previous step, 
this page may differ from mine. If you have selected Dynamic IP, then choose one of the options on this page. If your ISP only allows internet access to a specific MAC address, you need to clone the MAC address of the primary computer. If you are not sure about your MAC, select Use Default MAC Address and click Next. In most of the cases, there is no need to clone the MAC address. But if you can't get the internet connection after quick setup, please run it again and clone the MAC address for a try. On next page set name and password of your future Wi-Fi network. You can enable the available modes of your router. There will be one or more modes available. If there are several, enable them and enter for each network the name and password of your future Wi-Fi network. Password must be at least eight characters long. When you write the credentials, click on the next button. On this page, you can configure TP-Link cloud service. Do not touch anything here. Just click skip button. On the next page, you will see all the information that you specified earlier. Just confirm the settings by pressing next button. Wait until the router tries to connect to the internet by itself. If it's failed, check again whether you have connected all the cables correctly. Click skip, then try to reboot your router. But if it's not failed, then check whether the internet is available. Just Google something. If there is no internet, you need to reboot router. For this, go to advanced. Next, select system. Select reboot menu item and click on the reboot button. If the internet still does not appear, you need to log in to the router control panel using the password that you created at the very beginning of the router setup. Select Internet Menu button, and then clone MAC address. After that, save the settings. Reboot your router again. After a couple of minutes, Check internet connection. If internet still doesn't appear, contact your internet service provider. He will tell you what type of connection you have and what other settings you need to do. That's all. If my video was useful, please support my work. I send half of all donations to animal shelters. All the details are in the description below.